Indian cricket had come a long way in the 90s. It started with a heavy burden on Sachin Tendulkar, India's superhero. When he scored, India won. And when he failed, rarely did they win. Towards the end of the 90s, the scenario changed completely. The emergence of Saurav Ganguly and Rahul Dravid ensured that Sachin could breathe easy. So let's flash back to a match played at Hyderabad in November 1999. Hyderabad, the city of the famous Charminar, the land of the Nizam, the destination for its famous biryani, and also the venue to host the second of the five ODIs between India and New Zealand in 1999. New Zealand won the first match at Rajkot by 43 runs. The Indian team was desperate to bounce back in the series. The jam-packed Lal Bahadur Shastri Stadium is buzzing with frenzy. There is not an inch available. Every single seat is taken. The two captains, Sachin Tendulkar and Stephen Fleming, are out in the middle for the toss. The coin goes in Sachin's favour and the skipper elects to bat first. One of India's greatest opening pairs, Sachin Tendulkar and Saurav Ganguly, come out to kick-start the Indian innings. Chris Cairns, the flamboyant New Zealand all-rounder, is all set to strike first blood. So, gentlemen, here the curtain unfolds. First run is for Tendulkar. He starts off with a couple. That's pitched up and punched down the ground. Superb shot. And with that, Sachin Dramesh Tendulkar brings home the first boundary. Good confident shot by the Indian captain. Well, this is a poor length delivery. A juicy half volley. Right up there, look. Right up nearly. Yorker length. He just clips it straight in his favourite area. Straight on the onside of the wicket is his very favourite area. This ball from Shane O'Connor induces silence in the stadium. Gangli is out. O'Connor has got his fingers to it and the ball has gone and hit the stumps. Tendulkar straight drives O'Connor's delivery but the ball kisses the fingertip of O'Connor and proceeds to disturb the furniture at the non-striker's end. And the third umpire's verdict is a big blow to the Indian side. Gangli is sent back to the hut before the tendulkar Gangli pair could blast the Kiwi bowling. The Kiwi camp is thrilled as they get the big wicket. Ganguly departs in a dejected mood, out in the most unfortunate manner. Rahul Dravid, the next batsman, enters the battlefield. Up a little bit more and it's worked. Beautifully. I like the pace of this pitch for batting. I think orthodox cricket shot, the ball just comes on nicely. Wet and hammered away on the offside. That's the second boundary of Cairns. that a little bit but too much right hand there for Tendulkar on that occasion but I think he tried to hit it just a little bit harder when he heard the call 
That brings up the 50 run partnership between Sachin and Dravid. Well, this is really the problem as Ravi Shastri pointed out earlier. Without taking too many risks, the Indian batsmen are able to keep up this rain. And that's really danger signals for New Zealand. There's only one slight hope maybe they can rely on is there is a bit of a weakness in the lower order Indian batting. So after Dravid, you've got Jadeja at number four. Five off the over, 86 for one. On a pitch that's slowing down. And bowlers at this stage, slow medium. You can just see the pressure now coming on to the Indian batsmen. They've been scoring freely. could be close well that would have been i think out judging by the reaction of the fielders and i don't think it was too far away roger twos is at mid off there is no rush of blood as the experienced campaigners are playing with a clear strategy in mind they have a specific plan for every bowler Sachin Tendulkar, 39 not out. India, 92 for one. What superb improvisation by the Indian captain. Crowd are loving this. Premeditated. This is the sort of thing Tendulkar can do to you. Improvisation skills. Legendary and on these great surfaces here in India can damage you. And again, this time it'll be cut off. That's a lovely shot. Another couple of runs here for Tendulkar. in the gap as well. That's a beautiful shot from Abalebaz. It had four runs written all over it. And that brings up another one day international 50 for the master. Again, so good with the wrist. Chest offline, Astel there, and he's been made to pay the price for it. Once again, through the leg side for Tim Dolker. Certainly is. He's the most experienced. Chris Keane's down there. He'll have to hurry, but he'll get it. 50 comes up for Dravid. After Saurabh's wicket, the need of the hour was to steer the crease. And how well Rahul has done it. Oh, he's found the gap on the own side. That was too short. Dravid's been in there long enough to be able to deal with those deliveries. So eight runs coming up that last over, 149 for one. Oh, 
Well, a 150 partnership there. Chris Cairns' idea, I think, was sound to try and get in the odd Yorker, but it's not quite up there. It's a low full toss. And a number of boundaries that have gone today straight on the onside of the wicket. I should think there's anybody in either of the two teams is actually queuing up to bowl on this pitch here and the one in Ride Scott. Bowling to where his fielders are. Vittori, he's got people back straight. He's got a sweeper on the offside. He's not giving the batsman as much time. It means five off the over, it should have been four. 173 for one. See, the slower you bowl it, the more time he has to concoct little shots like that. Five off the over, 189 for one. Just one. Yes, all bowlers are under pressure in this situation. Runs are coming at quite a rate. Nicely played, long on though. No damage to the bowler, really, just the one. No width. One ninety six for one, thirty four gone. the end of the over 203 for one Sachin Tendulkar 93 not out Sachin in his 90s will he won't he drum to Tendulkar and the master blaster smashes him through extra cover to bring up yet another magnificent ODI 100 what a way to bag it and what a sight to behold. The crowd tries to enter the field to congratulate him, but is stopped by security. And not only does he have to encounter the bowlers, he has to uh, encounter the fans as well. They've broken through some of the fences. A single of Dravid's bat gets him to the maximum two-digit number, 99. He'll keep strike on 99 when we come back, 225 for one. Everybody on the edge of their seats, five men inside the 30 yards to save the single. 
100. Dravid scores his seventh ODI ton. He clinches another great century. What a great year this man is having. It's Rahul Dravid's turn to raise the bat. Well, it might sound like uh, we've been raving about Pendulka, but take nothing away from this innings. It's been an absolute beauty, and the captain knows it, and the coach. Tremendous support for his captain. His strike rate is 82.1. Quite an incredible shot again, searching for the Yorker. Morris corner, take her on the pull. Not easy to hit those. Yeah, she was very clever and thoughtful. Well, again, he, he had the idea to get it fallen in the block hole, but just couldn't quite get it up there enough, and he finished up a, a nice, juicy half volley that Tendulkar just hit, give himself room, and then hit it hard with that heavy bat. Batsman in, timing superb. Another boundary. This time on the onside, the result the same, one bounce over the rope. Three boundaries on the truck for Pindulka. 150 coming up for the Indian captain. Sachin shows extreme aggression even when at the verge of scoring his 150. Fearless truly, this is Sachin Tendulkar. This is why he's called the Master Blaster, Sabse Bada Khilari. Fireworks from the outset. Fantastic entertainment. The two stars, he's one of them, Pendulka. Nonchalantly on the onside, one bounce over square leg. Isn't he enjoying it? Not him. This is the highest ever partnership in one day international cricket. Kane's coming back. He's gone. This ball from Kane's brings some sanity back into the proceedings. Dravid is out. New Zealand have picked up another wicket. Ajay Jadeja enters the battlefield. The Tendulkar back on strike. And another boundary. He's picking his spots at the moment. And again. Once again he finds the boundary. So he's moved on to 174. He's one shot of couple lives, 175. 183 is not far away. And there are still eight balls remaining. Picked away, 182. <laughs> 27 of that last over. One over remaining, 369 for two. Twenty-seven runs, and he's made it look so easy. There's nothing else he can do, and then hope for the best. We look for two here. So Sachin Tendulkar. One hundred and eighty-four becomes the highest scorer for India in one day international cricket. One hundred and eighty-four. The completion of 50 overs. The Indian scoreboard shines bright with 300.
and 76 runs. And that too for the loss of merely two wickets. Tendulka winning the toss, deciding to bat. And what entertainment. Sachin, the master blaster, carried his bat after scoring a scintillating 186 not out. An unforgettable knock, one for the ages. A knock which still is his highest ODI score. Sabse Bada Khilari, Sachin, Ramesh, Tendulka. The KBs managed to score only 202 in reply to their pursuit against India's mammoth 376. And India registered a historic win in this match by 174 runs. All these feats could not have been possible without the dominating, peerless, impeccable and outstanding performance of our Balebas, Sachin Tendulkar.